Okay, here we are with one of my favorite estates in Italy, Paolo Scavino. Elisa is with us here, and she actually makes the wine along with her father, Enrico. And they make many, many different Barolos. In fact, this estate is your best bet for choosing Barolos from every little town. Um, Castiglione, um, uh, Barolo, La Morra. But they also make a Barolo from the town of Roddi, and there aren't too many producers were making a Barolo from Roddi. So we're going to ask Elisa to tell us a little bit about the characteristics of the Nebbiolo grape in Roddi. Yes, uh, so we started to, to work with the uh, Brick Ambrogio vineyard in uh, 2001. And uh, uh, when my father saw this, uh, this crew, uh, which is not very known yet, uh, but it was a beautiful exposure, um, he decided uh, straight away to, to invest uh, on this vineyard. Um, so we started in 2002, which was the first year that uh, we vinified this, uh, this crew. And it was the, actually the only crew that was not uh, damaged by the ale of our estate. Um, it's a crew that uh, is in the northeast uh, part of the Barolo region. And um, it's the only single vineyard from Roddi. Uh, it, um, the characteristics are very similar, uh, uh, resemble the characteristic of La Morra uh, uh, Barolo. I thought, I thought that Roddi gave a slightly harder, tougher Barolo, no? Well, there is a, uh, the, the, the soil is, uh, is limestone, so uh, for us, uh, the way we see the Bricombrogio is always uh, a crew that is very generous and expressive in the aromatics and uh, with the more feminine, with more uh, softer texture. So the core is pretty uh, soft and delicate and very persistent. So basically, the uh, Barolo made in the Roddi area, like the others, is going to be different because of the characteristics of the soil and the area. By the way, the 2002 Brico Ambrogio is a wonderful wine, and that's important because 2002 is a very difficult year, and many Barolos from 2002 are in fact not that great. Thank you, Lisa.